All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another video today. Um, and in this video, I have a very unfortunate announcement to make. Um, so yesterday on this group, it's called Department Stores Matter. Somebody apparently called a nearby Macy's store and that was at the Walt Whitman Shops in Huntington Station, New York. And according to what the person said, uh, was is that Macy's and Comac will not be reopening for liquidation sales. And once again, uh, will not uh, be reopening up for liquidation sales. And the reason behind that is because the lease for the Macy's and Comac uh, ex actually expired this month. And obviously due to the draconian coronavirus lockdowns, especially right here in the Northeast, not gonna name people who are responsible for it, but anyways. So yeah, Macy's and Comac will not be reopening for liquidation sales. Again, will not be reopening for liquidation sales. From what I heard, the inventory in that store was pretty much shipped off to other stores such as Walt Whitman Shops, Smith Haven Mall, and Westfield South Shore. Obviously not Hicksville because that closed in March right before the pandemic hit, and that's why. So now you might ask, uh, where does this leave my trip I've been trying to make for months now? Um, it leaves me to say this, I'm still gonna go out there. I'm for the time being because of the way that the government has set the phases, especially in New York. Um, I am going to be going to a different mall instead. Right now I'm making that a surprise, but yes, it's still gonna be out on Long Island, but it will not be the Smith Haven Mall again. Again, um, like I said, this is a very unfortunate uh, circumstance. I literally just found this out yesterday and I was very disappointed with it. Um, you know, it's a, it's a shame because it was an old 1960s Macy's store. It was a Gertz, a Stearns, pretty much like Hicksville. Um, so it is a real shame that I was not able to get the chance to visit uh, Macy's and Comac. Now, currently Harrisburg is running their liquidation sales and items are about 40% off. So I am gonna try and go there at some point. Um, but again, I don't know yet when and, when and where I'm going to go, so. But yeah, right now I might, as for malls, I don't know yet, um, but right now I'm looking into doing malls with only exterior department stores that are more than one level and malls that are just one levels for the time being, obviously. Anyways, guys, again, I am very sorry to disappoint you guys. I, you know, like I said, for months, since the beginning of March, I've been talking about going to Macy's and Comac. Um, and now, unfortunately, due to the draconian lockdowns that have been in the Northeast, um, that will unfortunately no longer be a reality due to the landlord of the Macy's Plaza, which I don't even know what the name of it is now, um, had the BJ's Wholesale Club already lined up. So it's unfortunate. Um, like I said, I really did try to go, to go out there for you guys, but um, it's not going to happen now. I am going to go to another mall on Long Island that is one floor and that has a couple of anchor stores. Obviously not going to hint that just yet. Um, I just have to wait for a couple more stores to come back online. And then I will tell you guys either in another video or in another live stream. But uh, this is also very unfortunate and there is not really much I can do. Um, and even in the description, I will leave you guys the what, the what exactly the person said on the group so that you guys can read the info in the description. And, you know, if you guys have any thoughts or want anything to say about this uh, kind of move, unexpected move or decision, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Anyways, guys, it hates me to say this, but yes, this is true. Uh, Macy's and Comac will not, again, not be reopening for liquidation sales as most of the merchandise has been moved to other Macy's locations on Long Island. Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And pretty soon, guys, will be back to filming elevators, probably in the next uh, week or two. So anyways, that's it.